Resembling a miniature airplane in the sky, Makani is actually an energy kite designed to harness wind energy. With a wingspan of 26 metres and equipped with eight rotors, it operates in a rather curious way. First, it ascends to a height of around 300 metres and then flies in a circular path. The rotors catch the wind and generate electricity, which is transmitted to the ground station through a tether. According to its creators, Makani could generate up to 600 kilowatts of electricity, enough to power approximately 300 homes. At one point, the project even attracted Google's attention, leading to its acquisition in 2013. However, due to challenges in commercialization, it was shut down by its new owners in early 2020. A German company, SkySails, is changing the way we think about wind energy by using kites to generate clean electricity. The process begins with a winch system, launching the kite into the sky. Once airborne, it flies in a controlled figure eight pattern at altitudes of up to 800 meters. As the kite moves through the air, it generates a pulling force in the station on the ground, which in turn creates a rotation of the special mechanism, which then drives the generator and energy is made. A single kite can generate up to 200 kilowatts of electricity, enough to power approximately 100 households. Once its task is complete, the system autonomously retracts the kite to the ground station, ready to begin the next cycle. Wind turbines are also evolving faster than ever. Take the Pivot Boy, developed by a Spanish team, which offers an offshore floating wind turbine to generate electricity. What makes it unique is its single point mooring system, allowing it to naturally align with the wind and generate electricity almost continuously. The power produced is sent through an underwater cable to a substation and then into the main offshore grid. Their X1 prototype, installed near the Canary Islands, has already generated its first kilowatt hour. The team now plans to build larger turbines capable of generating around 15 megawatts each. Marine Power Systems has introduced Pelagen, a project designed to generate electricity from waves. It uses a mechanism that's quite unique, capturing energy from both the heave and surge motions of waves. Each unit can generate over one megawatt of power, making it ideal for large-scale energy production. The deployment is also easy. It can be assembled on a floating platform in a similar way to a wind turbine. Additionally, it can tilt its absorber to align with the oncoming waves for maximum energy capture and can be raised above water during storms to prevent damage. The company plans to demonstrate a multi-megawatt wave energy array near Orkney Island scheduled for 2025 or 26. Since 2009, a Danish company has been working on the Wave Piston, a system that harnesses wave energy to generate clean electricity and desalinated water. It consists of a long floating stream. On it are small energy collectors that move with ocean waves, driving hydraulic pumps to pressurize seawater. This pressurized water is then sent ashore, where it powers turbines to generate electricity or is used for desalination. In early 2024, the company installed its first full-scale device off Gran Canaria. The system is expected to generate around 200 kilowatts of power, enough to supply electricity to approximately 140 households or provide desalinated water for about 900 homes annually. Solar panels are no longer limited to rooftops and fields. They are now floating on water as well. Solaris Float, a Portuguese company, has developed an unusual floating solar panel system to maximize electricity production while minimizing land use. These panels are strategically placed on lakes or reservoirs and are built to form little islands. This unique design not only saves space on land, but also helps reduce water evaporation and keeps the panels cool, enhancing their efficiency. Each of these islands has 180 solar modules and generates a peak power of 73 kilowatts. Furthermore, these panels are designed to adjust their angle throughout the day to follow the sun's movement, much like sunflowers, thereby optimizing energy generation. Don't forget to subscribe to Unstoppable Gadgets. And if you want to check out some cool space technologies, click on the screen for the next video.